Good morning, today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2016. I'm Anastasia Crockett. A boat full of refugees sank off the coast of Egypt. We've got the details. And I'm Marjorie Troughton. Russia is sending its only aircraft carrier to Syria. Your CSN News starts now. Don't forget to purchase your yearbook for $65 until September 30th. Then the price will go up to October 1st, so hurry up and get that done. Pay at the front office or go to online to www.yearbookforever.com. Yearbook ad space is for sale for your parents to place a special message and photos to congratulate you on your graduation in the spring. Pick up a flyer in the office or from your English or government teachers to take home and give to your parents. The Advanced Opportunities Portal is ready for student and parent use. Each student has a portal of $4,125 at their disposal starting in 7th grade to pay for overload, overload courses, dual credit courses, AP exams, and CTE certifications. Students must complete two processes. First, register at the provider institution and second, register in the appropriate courses through the Advanced Opportunities Portal to apply for funding. The registration deadline for all courses is September 30th, 2016. Please note that the credit recovery or redemption courses are not eligible for fast forward funding. Please talk to your teachers or counselors if you have any questions regarding fast forward funding. Sports Med Club will be having a meeting next Wednesday after school in the gym. Please bring your fundraising ideas and think of any medical activities or skills that you would like to cover over the next eight months. Seniors and juniors, practice your taping skills so you are ready to teach the sophomores. There will be a short Leo Club meeting today after school in room 674. We'll be preparing for the Adopt a Highway Service project we're doing next Monday. The Foreign Language Society will meet next Tuesday, September 27th after school in room 127. We will talk about the details for our first community service and decide on our club t-shirts. Juniors, if you are interested in taking the PSAT for National Merit Eligibility, you must sign up with Mrs. Johnson and pay the $19 fee no later than today. Also, juniors and seniors, reminder that the ASVAB Skills Assessment will be October 12th. If you are interested in taking it, please sign up in the front office no later than October 5th. Join the Foreign Language Society for a fundraiser at the 12th Avenue Panda Express tomorrow, anytime between 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Come eat some delicious Chinese food and help, out, help the Foreign Language Society. Just print out the flyer from Peach Jar and bring it with you to Panda just because that's how they get credit. The next Skills USA meeting will be held on Tuesday at 2.45 p.m. in Mr. Babcock's room 410. We'll be voting on president and vice president, so make sure you bring your prepared one to two minute speech if you want to run for one of these positions. Students who are interested in joining the Army will have a chance to meet with an Army recruiter today from 10 to 11 a.m. In, in the Career Center. Please sign up in the front office to have a chance to ask questions about the Army and find out if it's right for you. Also, today after school, the University of Southern California will be at Columbia High School to meet with all interested students in the area. If you thought about attending the school in California, make sure you go between 2.45 to 4 p.m. to get the more information about the admission re requirements. Homecoming is next week. Get ready. Remember to bring your coins next Friday to the Assembly. We'll be right back after this. It's flu season once again, but this year you can avoid getting yourself another sick. It's easy if you remember a few simple things. The single most effective way to prevent the spread of flu is to wash your hands for 30 seconds. Maintaining a three foot distance from those who are sick makes it much more difficult for the flu to be spread. If you're running a fever of 100 degrees or more, you're spreading the flu. Stay home. Even if it's not the flu, you're contagious when you have a high fever. If you wash your hands for 30 seconds, stay three feet away from those who are sick, and stay home when you do get sick, you can help everyone stay well this flu season. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is a 67 with a low of 50, and tomorrow's high is going to be a 70 with a low of 50. And as you can tell on Saturday and Sunday, that's the, the temperature is going to remain in the 60s and the 70s for the high, and the low is going to stay in the 50s. Back to you, Audrey. Thank you, Anastasia. Russia has announced it is sending its only aircraft carrier to waters off Syria's coast as diplomats met at the United Nations in an effort to revive Syria's failing ceasefire. The Russian defense minister of the ship, carrying dozens of military aircraft, will be sent to the eastern Mediterranean to join other Russian ships off the war-torn country's coast, the state news agencies reported. The announcement came in the wake of surging violence, including the deadly bombing of a Syrian Arab Red Crescent aid convoy on Monday night. 
A boat carrying almost 600 people capsized off Egypt's coast on Wednesday, killing at least 43, and the latest disaster among migrants trying to reach Europe. The boat sank in the Mediterranean Sea off the Berg Rashid, a village in the northern Bahiria province. Officials said 31 bodies had been found, 20 men, 10 women, and one child. A Reuters correspondent later saw a fishing boat bring in 12 more bodies, bringing the total so far to 43. Rescue workers have so far saved 154 people, officials said, meaning about 400 could still be missing. Initial information indicates that the boat sank because it was carrying more people than its limit. The boat tilted and the migrants fell into the water, a senior security official in Bahiri told Rudus. The boat had been carrying Egyptian, Sundanese, Eritrean, and Somali migrants, officials said. Today's SAT word of the day is acerbic, which means sour or severe. You could use it this way. Some believe that the sour movie critic always delivered acerbic reviews because he was bitter about not having achieved his dream to be a director. Thanks for watching, and remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.